right, now I'm going to try to do our intro feeding lab in less than five minutes. So what is intro feeding? Intro feeding is just providing nutrients um, through tubing. So you can have it in a short term version, which is um, feeding through an NG, which is nasogastric or a nasointestinal tubing. And those are to be used within um, four weeks. So anytime you're going to have those put in, it has to be less than four weeks. Um, long term use, you can have a gastrostomy or a jejunostomy. Um, so gastrostomy is from the stomach, jejunostomy is from the jejunum, and um, usually this can include too, like there, there's a peg, which is a percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy tube, <laughs> um, that's kind of in that category too, which is with long-term use. And usually the formula, the most common type of formula, there's many different types, is, um, but it's polymeric formula which is very high in protein so that's why they like to use that so who needs intro feeding so people that are malnourished or may have aspirate pneumonia um, those are the type of people that can um, have benefits from intro feeding um, also comatose patients patients that have decreased swallowing from stroke ms or severe parkinson's or patients with decreased oral intake from um, cancer, like, you know, um, chemotherapy, radiation, uh, burns, or sepsis. And so when a patient is getting an intro feeding, how often do they get it? So remember, a bolus is a large amount of um, fluid, so it'd be less than 15 minutes usually. And then intermittent is 30 minutes. Um, usually at least 30 minutes. Wait, yeah. And it's three to four times a day. And then continuous is 24 hours a day. So uh, there are two types as well for enteral um, feedings. There's a closed system, which pretty much sounds um, like how it is. That is a system set with a spike for prepackaged formula. So that's a big difference between open and closed is what type of formula they use too. So two to remember with the closed system, each time you administer um, the formula, you need to have a new spike. And then for open, that is um, pouring formula in from containers and cans um, or jugs, and you would have to change um, the open system or uh, yeah, every 24 hours, and then you would discard the formula every four hours. So big numbers to know. So you wanna change that whole system every 24 hours, and then the formula every four hours you discard it. So what are the steps really quick to for intro feeding? One, you are going to do the six rights. I should have wrote that first. Remember, right patient, medication, dose, time, route, um, documentation, all that stuff and then assess their swallowing ability. Um, and then next, you're gonna check if they already have it in. Um, the, check the gastric residual. Um, it should be over 500 milliliters. If it isn't, that is something you wanna report to the on-call provider. Um, you're gonna warm and shake the formula and then raise the head of the bed at least 30 degrees. And then you're gonna flush with regular tap water because cold water um, can actually make the patient have cramping. So you're gonna give them regular tap unless they are immunocompromised, then you would give them sterile water. And then you're gonna give their formula. Again, there's different types of formula, but usually polymeric is the most um, common. And then um, you're gonna flush again. So you wanna flush before and after administering the formula. And so then you're gonna verify the placement, which is really important to do. So I'm gonna go over it really, really quick. There's a gold standard abdominal x-ray, um, and then you can do measurements, you can do a visual inspection of the aspirate. Um, you can also do a pH check. Uh, gastric pH should be four or less, it looks like. Four to six for jejunum, seven plus for respiratory and lungs. Um, and then finally, the types of complications is dumping syndrome, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, all those GI issues, gas, tube displacement, and obstruction. That's five minutes or less. Thank you.